What is the most important thing that people need to know about Kamala Harris, with whom you have served for so long? Well, I'm struggling to find something she's actually done. Huh. Uh, certainly, she didn't do anything memorable in the in the Senate, but she was only here for a short while. And um, it seems to me she's been enormously adaptive to her environment. When she ran for president, she took the most radical positions you can possibly imagine, and now she's disavowing all of them. So uh, I don't know how you can actually believe what she says if she can um, change her stripes so uh, quickly. Let me play for you the new Trump ad, which Chris LaCivita posted on X this hour. Uh, Roll the tape of that for Senator Cornyn. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. This is America's border czar, and she's failed us. Under Harris, over 10 million illegally here. A quarter of a million Americans dead from fentanyl. Brutal migrant crimes. And ISIS now here. Do you have any plans to visit the border? You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. I I don't understand the point that you're making. Kamala Harris failed, weak, dangerously liberal. Failed, weak, dangerous liberal, Senator Cornyn. What do you think of that ad? I think it's uh, exactly right. Uh, I know Chris LaCivita, he's a great pro, but he didn't have to do too much uh, deep uh, of a deep dive or research to find those clips. They're, they're omnipresent, and uh, I think it's a, it's a very effective ad. Well, what did you think of the Kamala Palooza that we had last week? Uh, as though she, I mean, I'm sort of astonished that they're trying to remake a San Francisco Democrat into other than a panic choice by a panicked party. Yeah, I think obviously the Democrats were relieved that Joe Biden had now been deposed by the Democratic power brokers. And so the enthusiasm was, uh, I think, real. Um, But the fact of the matter is, I think it's going to settle in pretty quickly that she is uh, no no Joe Biden. You know, Joe Biden was successful in in winning the election because he nobody was afraid of him. He seemed like a kindly elderly gentleman and uh, not really a threat. I think uh, once people see the real Kamala Harris, they will uh, they will recoil. Uh, let, let me close by asking you what I asked Senator Cotton. Uh, Joe Biden did abdicate, but he's still president. Do you think he ought to step aside because yesterday on the tarmac he was incoherent? Yeah, I know, you know, we've had so much uh, disruption in our uh, in our in our government and uh, so many questions. I'm, I guess I'm agnostic about that. I mean, clearly, if he's incompetent to run for president, he's not competent to serve as president. But I think at this point, with uh, 98 days or so to the election, the best thing to do is try to seek at least a little stability between now and the election. And then, uh, of course, uh, I'm hoping that President Trump uh, is successful and we uh, win the majority in the Senate and the House. I have got my eye on Israeli news sites this morning, Senator. Nothing has happened yet. They haven't responded. Rocket attack this morning killed another Israeli civilian in the north. What do you expect Israel to do, and should the United States support them? Uh, I expect Israel to uh, retaliate, uh, as it should. Um, I think uh, the the response uh, will be proportional to the uh, unjustified attack on innocent uh, children, and uh, the United States should support them. And I was very troubled when I um, attended the joint address of, of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu that, uh, that Vice President Harris, who should have sat there and presided over the speech, uh, was uh, missing in action. So uh, I think they're definitely sending um, mixed messages, unfortunately, some very sympathetic to the Hamas cause, which, as you know, is a terrorist organization. Well, the vice president had a meeting with a sorority. I've yet to get a readout on that meeting with a sorority. Have you gotten one on the meeting with the sorority, Senator? No, I haven't. It must have been really, 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 really important. Um, but, you know, the truth is uh, the, the speaker scheduled uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu back in June. So, And, and I'm told, Hugh, that the, the sorority meeting lasted a number of days. I'm sure they would have accommodated her at a time other than that that conflicted with the prime minister's speech. Uh, It said everything we need to know. 